So we're given this function, x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 12, and we want to find the limit as x approaches 4 using this table here. Now the thing is, when you do the table method, I'm going to show you on the graphing calculator how to do it, but just to show you here on paper, what you want to do is you're approaching this x value of 4, and you're trying to see you know, what uh, it gets closer and closer to as you approach 4 from below and from above, meaning a little bit lower than 4 and a little bit higher than 4. Now if you try to put 4 in directly for x here in this particular problem, what you're going to get is 0 divided by 0, which is called indeterminate, meaning we can't determine what the limit is. So when you put this in on your calculator, you're going to get like an error. It's going to say like, you know, undefined, right? But the numbers that we want to pick here on either side, we're going to want to pick a number that's uh, slightly smaller here by, let's say, like a, th a thousandth. So this would be like 3999. And then this one here is going to be slightly more, like 4.001. So we're going larger by a thousandth and then smaller by a thousandth, then larger by a hundredth, smaller by a hundredth, and then larger by a tenth, smaller by a tenth. But as far as the graphing calculator is concerned, what you want to do is you want to go over here. Let me zoom in. What we want to do is we want to go to y equals here. Okay, so y equals, and we're going to put in our uh, function. So what do we have here? We've got x minus 4, and you want to put that in parentheses so it takes it as a group, divided by, and then the denominator you also want to put in parentheses, x squared minus x minus 12. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, before we go to our table, you want to go to where it says table set here, right above window. So press second, table set. And what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you're set for uh, not for um, auto, which oftentimes is on for the uh, independent variable. You want to make sure that it's on ask. Okay, so we're going to make sure it's selected for ask. We're going to go now to second table, which is right above graph here. And we're going to put in these values here that we were talking about earlier. So we want to go ahead and put some that are a little bit uh, below 4 and a little bit that are above 4. So I'm going to go and put 3.9. Okay, that's, and I'm going to do 3.99. 3.999. So you can see I'm almost to 4. If we put 4 in, notice how it gives us an error. And then if we put in uh, slightly larger than 4 by a thousandth, 4.001, slightly larger by a hundredth, that's 4.01, and then slightly larger by a tenth, 4.1. What you want to do here is you want to, uh, again, make sure that when you're approaching a 4 from below, meaning lower, and from above, higher, that they're approaching the same number. And you can see it's getting closer and closer to like 0.1428, right? Okay, and so that's going to be your limit, 0.143. I'm just going to round approximately. Uh, if you do this using other techniques, uh, which I'm going to link to a video that talks about using the other different techniques for finding limits in pre-calculus, um, you can um, figure out that this is exactly a limit of 1 7th. Okay, but I'll show you, uh, I'll see you over in that other video and we'll talk more about limits there.